Yeah. All right. So, my friend and brother in Christ, uh, Daniel, had this very intelligent thought to say to me. He said to me that, he said, I appreciate, um, Christy, that you uh, love the history of our black culture as a people. We have come a long way to where we are now by God's grace. But you must be careful to not let any of your decisions politically be empowered by the advancement of our, I'm assuming, race. Please hear what I'm saying. I'm not accusing you of anything at all. I just have found in our black community that political votes were empowered by wanting to have a black president in office for the first time. It's the world's way to promote people for selfish reasons, but God's way to promote people for his reasons. Again, I'm not saying or accusing you of anything. It's just it. It's just an encouragement to help guard your heart from such a humanistic move that God's kingdom is not the primary target in all we do, political or not. One thing I will say is that you have done your research and I've invested a legit belief on promoting President Obama as a citizen of the U.S. That is commendable. So I responded back to him with my own delightfully intelligent thoughts when I said this. Thank you, Dan. Well said. I agree with you, which is why I never voted for Herman Cain. I'm a social conservative. If Obama was Republican, the Abe Lincoln type, not the George W. Bush or Mitt Romney type, I would still vote, have voted for him because I believe in who he is, what he stands for, and how he wants to save or improve or simply protect our country uh, better than his competition, regardless of his political party or color. I agree and disagree with a lot of views in both parties, which is why I'm independent. I'm a socially conservative Christian and a fiscally liberal social advocate. The funny thing that I've noticed is actually far beyond what you're saying, which is that you are warning me not to just blindly think that a vote against the Democrat is a vote against black people. But in the same exact way, I feel I must warn you not to just blindly think that a vote against the Republican is a vote against God. So many Christians in America are being used, manipulated, exploited, brainwashed, and played for fools by the calculated right-wing leaders just so non-Christ-fearing politicians who want your money and votes will get you to trust and support them when they couldn't give two figs about God or you. And they think you're stupid just because you are a believer and like they can play you like a fiddle just by using your faith to their advantage. I've been told by so many deluded Republican voters that a vote for Obama is a vote against Jesus, which is actually worse than saying a vote for Romney or McCain is a vote against blacks, because races and genders, at least, and other tangible demographics in this country, at least, actually have historically vested interests in their candidates that are materialized by the particular political ideologies of those said political figures and parties, whereas Jesus has no political affiliation at all. Okay? Proven by the fact that both parties do completely unchristian things and say completely unchristian things and support completely unchristian things. Both parties, not just the Democrats, but the Republicans as well. They are both guilty. Guilty as sin. Both parties. Very guilty. Which is why I vote for the person, not the party. Because parties can think like cults or operate like Kool-Aid drinking gangs like the Bloods versus the Crips. Whereas the person, I will either like or tr and trust or not, you know, or I won't. I like and trust President Obama, both his past, present, and future. He has my vote, not simply because he's the first black president, but because he is one of the best leaders of our lifetime, who, one, killed Osama, two, saved the auto industry, three, cut our taxes, four, got women equal pay, five, gave us health care reform, six, ended a dumb war, seven, provided us small business breaks and student loans, eight, recovered an economy that the other party recklessly drove off a cliff and still never apologized for or took responsibility for, nine, gracefully faced and handles the worst, most vicious, dishonest, and racistly venomous disrespect from his opposition than any president has ever seen before, and Lord knows if it was me putting up with all that crap that he puts up with, bodies would be disappearing all around me, man. People would be like, why is it whenever somebody disrespects her or betrays her, then they disappear? <laughs> I'm joking, mostly. Um, no, anyway, I'm, no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not like that. But I'm just saying, like, you know, like, I would have a visual response. People would know, you know, I wouldn't have any. I was ha unhappy with the way that they were acting. And Mr. Obama, President Obama, he just acts so cool. And he just, he just, he has so much grace and class. You know, Grace Under Fire. That's his nick. That should be his nickname. Because Under Fire, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily graceful. I'll get through the fire, but, you know, 
I'll take you with me. But anyway, <laughs> if you cross me. But um, but yeah, so 10, he is kind to his dog, unlike Romney. 11 was never a high school bully, or, or 12, or mean to a dying guy in a wheelchair, all like Romney. 13, he doesn't think corporations are people. 14, doesn't say that he's not concerned about the poor. 15, or that he likes firing people, like Romney has said all of that. 16, he doesn't want to raise our taxes in order to cut his own taxes while he buys elevators for all his fancy cars and any of his seven mansions, bought with the obscene wealth, much of which he was born with, and all of his offshore bank accounts, like Romney. 17, he can relate to us better, obviously. 18, he cares about people, even shown by when he was a community organizer, which is much more like Jesus than being born rich and killing people's jobs just to make yourself richer. And in the Bible it says that a rich man getting into heaven is like a camel fitting through the eye of a needle, or something like that. 19. He sings to us. I just had to say that because it's funny. <laughs> I mean, whoever, whoever heard of that? I mean, that's awesome, right? So, um, it's cute. It's I like it. It's just a little cute little add, add on there. It's not like, you know, the only reason to vote for him or something like that. 20. Oh, yeah. And Obama has never cheated on his wife. I really like that, too. Alright. Melissa is actually way more extensive than this, but that's just the quick, easy, obvious stuff at the top of my head. So yeah, I get what you're saying and you're right, but I'm also right. The blade of manipulation swings both ways. Blacks are expected to vote Democrat. Christians are expected to vote Republican. I happen to be both. Lucky for me, I'm an independent. So I will vote according to the specific person who is running for office. According to their specific character, track record, gut check feeling, I get when I look into their eyes, and the current social, economic, and national security climate at the time in which they are running, as each party has its place when that party is being led by sane, competent, decent, humane people. I'm not super thrilled with the Dems, but I tell you what, I'm scared as hell of the psycho evil nut jobs running today's GOP. The Dems are the lesser of the two evils for me. I view Obama as better than both parties, even though there are things he has said that I disagree with, but I'm not an absolutist. I'll take the best I can get. And the best I've ever seen in my lifetime is President Barack Hussein Obama. So Obama 2012, baby, yes, we friggin' can. <laughs> now let's face it. Both parties are psychologically manipulative and emotionally guilting to a major fault. All right, but in my opinion, which is worse, telling someone they are a traitor to their race or gender if they don't vote one way, or telling someone they are a traitor to God or a bad Christian or going to hell if they don't vote uh, one way, the other way? Think about, uh, you know, think what you wish, but I'm more offended by being called a bad Christian or a traitor to God than I am offended by being called a traitor to my race or gender. Maybe that's because my spiritual faith is more important to me than what I look like. But hey, no matter what you do in this world, you're always going to make someone happy and someone else unhappy. The question isn't which side of peer pressure should I cater to. The question is which educated choice do I personally prefer for myself, honestly, of my own accord, and why? And um, although I just to add this note, I will say that I have become very offended by a monstrous manipulation attack tactic that is being casually and very calculatedly used by Democratic political figures and the liberal media on a specific issue that I didn't mention in this note. Um, Democrats have become to same-sex marriage what Republicans have become to abortion. Blind, irrational, rabid, fanatical, unreasonable, painfully and obnoxiously self-righteous, liberation-obsessed zealots like brainwashed psycho dogs in a Kool-Aid drinking wolf pack cult ready to band together to burn anyone at the stake who disagrees with them on this moral issue without even bothering to ask them why they have a different point of view on this issue and actually sincerely want to know why with their own uh, with their town villager pitchforks and torches either uh, coldly ostracizing you, condescendingly disrespecting you, ignorantly prejudging you, arrogantly condemning you, hyper emotionally demonizing you or just plain retardedly screaming at you something that sounds a lot like you're a bad person if you don't agree with me on this issue. You're a horrible human being who doesn't deserve my basic human respect. And maybe you don't even deserve to breathe the same air as me. You are evil for this. Eat crap and die. Die, I say. Die! Whether it's the right-wing creed brainwashed abortion cult or the left-wing media brainwashed same-sex cult, both super ideological supremacy groups will immediately determine you to be a bad person, and I mean a really horrible human being, who doesn't deserve their respect and maybe doesn't even deserve to live. 
if you disagree with them on this hot button issue for any reason whatsoever. Not that they're listening to your reasons. They don't care about that. Yeah, so on specific issues, both sides are insane, evil, wild pains in the rear. But as a whole, as I stated in my note, the GOP is more manipulative than the Dems, in my opinion, as a whole, from the standpoint that telling me that I'm a bad Christian who is a traitor to God, if I don't vote their way, feels much worse to me than telling me that I'm a traitor to my race or my gender if I don't vote the other way. But hey, maybe that's just me. Personally, I think they're both kind of nuts, but I still like Obama the best because he's the sanest out of everybody. And well, what can I say? In today's world, sanity means a lot to me. Manipulation. Thank you. <laughs>